Hi everyone, I'm Sandy and today it is Tag Tuesday, but before I do my tag, I thought I would give everyone an update on what my actual list of books ended up being for book two spin number four. So last week I put out a call to people asking for sci-fi and fantasy recommendations and boy did everyone just completely come through i ended up with over 40 books um so thank you so much especially to the people who submitted more than one i really had to go through and I'll try and figure out what ones to throw on there uh, and what I tried to do is select one from everyone who made a recommendation to me um, so I'm going to go through those first the 20 books and I think last week's video I said 21 but it is supposed to be 20 so I have the full list for you today yay very excited um, so I will move over briefly I'll move over a little bit so I can go through those for you so book number one I don't also I don't own most of these so We'll see which ones I end up with from the spin and go from there. I will not be going through synopsis of the books because I don't know what half of these are about. Actually, probably more than half. But I will mention everyone who uh, who gave me the recommendation. I did try and focus on ones that have more than one recommendation uh, and also ones that were on my 1001 book countdown list because there are a couple or one. I think there's one. Okay, so the first book, book number one, is The First Season by N.K. Jemison. It was recommended by Jack over at Spread Book Joy, and Britta Bowler, Bowler recommended this author. Book number two, The Long and Angry... The Long Way to an Angry Planet by Becky Chambers. This was recommended by Alicia Reads and Rambles and Michelle Lexi. Number three is Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson. This was recommended by Gina Stanier and Scientist Reading World. Book number four is the, oh, I actually own this one. Book number four is The Left Hand of Darkness by Ursula K. Le Guin. And this was recommended by Jordan Parsons and also Britta Bowler. Hyperion by Dan Simmons was recommended by Christina at Knitting Books, etc. David Wiley and one of um, my subscribers, Moon Poem, thank you very much. Number six is recommended by sorry is the dispossessed by ursula k le guin and this was recommended by michelle lexi number seven just one damn thing after another the chronicles of saint mary by jody taylor and this was recommended by a subscriber number eight is i am legend by richard matheson this was recommended by alice at the giant bookshelf Number nine is The Martian Chronicles by Ray Bradbury. And this was recommended by my subscriber, Moon Poem. Uh, number 10 is Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. This was recommended by A Little Book Life and Michelle Lexi. Number 11, All Day, All Summer in a Day by Ray Bradbury was recommended by Book Talks with Mrs. Thomas and Shelley Swearingen. Number 12, Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep by Philip K. Dick. And this was recommended by a subscriber and it is on the 1001 Book Countdown. Uh, number 13, Little Eyes by Schweblin was recommended by Larry Has Opinions. Number 14, Her Body and Other Parties by Carmen Maria Machado was recommended from A to Z-ish. Number 15, Valis by Philip K. Dick was recommended by Another Bibliophile Reads. Number 16 is The Murder Bot Diaries. And I love this is the first book, I believe, which is All Systems Read by Martha Wells. And this was recommended by a subscriber. Number 17 is The Andromeda Strain by Michael Crichton, uh, recommended by Say Kevi. Number 18 is His Majesty's Dragon, recommended by Britta Bowler. Number 19, A Natural History of Dragons by Marie Brennan. And this is a new channel for me, which is another erudite adventure. So thank you so much for making a recommendation. And number 20 is Oryx and Crake by my Margaret Atwood. And this was recommended by Scott and Nell at Gunpowder, Gun, at Gunpowder Fiction and Plot. So those are my 20. I'll leave all 20 books listed in the description for you, as well as um, all the channels that recommended them for me. And uh, yeah, we'll see what I get on Wednesday's spin. But thanks again to everyone who took a couple of minutes to write down or give me a recommendation. I really appreciate it. Now I have a massive, massive list. I feel like I forgot one. We'll see when I go through editing. 
anyway um and then um for the tag, the tag that I'm going to do today is actually the small booktuber tag, and I was tagged in this three times. So anytime I'm tagged that much, I feel like it's definitely something I should I should probably do. I was tagged by Kevy over at Say Kevy, Alicia from Alicia Reads and Rambles, and Alice at Alice and the Giant Bookshelf. So thank you so much for all of you tagging me. I really appreciate it. There's only seven, actually six prompts, and then the tags. So. One is introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Sandy or Sandra, depending on where you know me from. Um, I, uh, not sure what else I'm supposed to say there. Anyway, my channel name is Miss Reads a Lot because, you know, I read a lot. So it'll seem to make sense. Plus, it made me think of Sir Mix a Lot. I'm not sure why that is, but that's kind of where it came from. Number two, how long have you been on BookTube? I joined BookTube, um, I created my channel at the beginning of April, but I didn't post any content until the very end of April. I believe April 26th or right around there. Uh, so um, just a little bit over five months, so not very long. Three, what types of videos do you make? All about books, really, maybe with a little bit of outdoor content thrown in. Uh, I would like to put more outdoor content if possible, but largely it is all about books. Um, book recommendations, uh, TBRs, fall, or wrap ups. I, I love, um, I love obviously tag videos and doing tag videos. I'd love to create an original tag at some point. We'll see if I get to that. Four, what do you love about BookTube? I have mentioned this before. I didn't have any idea what this community was actually like before I joined it. And I have never been around such a supportive community uh, from the shout outs and the buddy reads and the group reads and the level of support that everyone gives you. And if you ever have questions, there's always someone I can reach out to when just it seems to be there to help each other. And uh, it is something that I didn't anticipate. And I'm so incredibly glad I joined BookTube because the people I have met have made this experience completely worth it. Five, what types of books do you read? Uh, so I am reading off of the thousand and one books you must read before you die list which is a massive project, um, but I am really enjoying it uh, just because it's exposing me to a wide variety of different kinds of books. I do like general fiction. I like some nonfiction. I like um, a little bit of romance, murder mystery, classics. Uh, I will read pretty much anything, if it, especially if it's on the list. I will read just about anything, even if it's a book that I tend to not like very much. I will read it. I don't read a lot of fantasy and sci-fi, which is why I asked everyone for recommendations. So, um, but it is a wide variety of different books. Sorry about that. I had a minor interruption. Um, so I don't remember where I was at now. I'll fix that in editing probably. Uh, so yeah, pretty much any kind of book. I don't, like I said, I don't read a lot of fantasy or science fiction, which is why I ask people for recommendations. Uh, but anything else and I'm open to reading science fiction. I just kind of haven't had good experiences or I just don't know really where to start. So yeah, all the recommendations, super, super helpful. Number six, what is your favorite video that you, you've you made? You know, I um, really actually like a couple of videos that aren't necessarily the most popular videos that I've made. I really actually like the book two mental health one, just because I was being really open about some of the challenges I've had, uh, just, you know, mentally with some of the things that go along with having a channel. Um, I also like ones like the booktube scavenger hunt and those kinds of tags. Uh, I really love the Wednesday Reads uh, series, but I just haven't had a lot of time to do those ones. So yeah, um, yeah, but there are, uh, I mean, I, there's a lot of things I would like to do. I wish I was a bit more creative, but really I just like coming on here and talking about books. So anyway, uh, that is actually all the questions in the small booktuber tag. It's not a big one at all. And uh, the number seven is tag at least four small booktube channels or every small channel you can think of. So I did forget to say at the beginning, this tag was actually created by Die Kitty Reads, and I will leave that linked in the description below, as well as all of the um, people's channels who tagged me. So what I am going to do is go ahead and go back to my little um, 
jar here and if you are tagged hopefully you decide to do this but i will do four uh so the first one is books reading coffee drinking uh this is a fairly new channel to me and i believe uh, she talks a lot about fantasy uh novels but she has been really interesting lately and then the next one is going to be pen to paper which is leah's channel i'm very excited leah hopefully you want to do this one well, she also does an author tube uh, as well as book tube. And then the next one is Cozy Reading with Quaker Cats, which is Summer's channel. I don't know if you've done this summer, so if you have, I apologize. And then the next one, Very Literary Carrie. So yeah, those four. I don't know if you've done this. If you have, uh, I apologize for tagging you again. And if you haven't and you choose to do this one, great. If you don't choose to do it, no pressure. Um, but with that, that uh, ends my... Um, Tag Tuesday and my booktube spin number four video. And uh, it, as always, oh, I almost forgot. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, everyone, thanks. Bye.